Okay, this is the front of 10697 South Calle Raquel. The HOA fees are $140 a month, and that includes the pool community, the community pool area, and then the front landscaping. And it also includes a jacuzzi here as well. Yeah, it's, it's at. This is the back of the home here. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. The stucco seems to be well maintained. There is a jacuzzi, she said, and that will stay. And it looks like they've got like a little patio area. And then the, it looks like it's screened in back there. We'll go inside in just a minute. It's on natural gas, which is nice. Okay, we'll go ahead inside now. Super cute. That's just a very nice layout. There's a half bath here, and then you've got the bedrooms upstairs. Cute half bath. It's got a nice framed mirror in it. There is this tile, really nice tile throughout the house. As you can see, they have a they just have a little throw rug over it, but it's a nice tile throughout. It's the main kitchen area. It is granite tiled countertops with the vaulted ceilings. I'm looking at it from the entrance into the master bedroom downstairs. And then of course we'll go upstairs in a minute. This is really the master bedroom area downstairs, but they do have it set up for something different. I guess a TV room exercise area. You can see the bedroom, the bathroom is back there. It is a nice ensuite. In the past, I've had people say that they don't really care for the open um, archways into the bathroom. So a really good fix to that is putting the, the barn doors that are very popular, um, putting those in right now. So it is a different tile in this bedroom. You can see it's like a lighter tile, but it is all tile. Pretty good size walk-in closet here. And then it's got a separate shower and water closet area. I do see that there's a little bit of water damage in the corner by that shower. I'll close up on it in a second. I think this shower probably could have used a shower door. I think this curtain's just not keeping the water in very well. So you can see that there's just a little bit of water damage in that corner. And in this one right here. Nothing too bad though. I'm sure it would be a pretty easy fix. I've seen it before. The other thing that I want to point out is um, the fittings here. The angle stops and the lines all need to be replaced for sure. They're not looking very good. Same thing with underneath the sinks. They're the older style and they're known to break and flood, so definitely a good idea to replace these. It does have the double vanities. Another quick look at another quick look at this master bedroom area. So this master area is a little over 11 feet, probably about 11 feet, 4 or 5 inches, by uh, 10 and a half. And I based that on just measuring the tiles, and the number of the tiles. Okay, I almost missed this little area here, but as I was turning off lights, I noticed it. Um, there is this extra little storage area in the master that's... Underneath the stairs, it's kind of cute. A lot of good purpose for that space. I'm sure you could think of something. Um, one other thing that I noticed is that a good upgrade for this property would be uh, replacing all the light switches. So this is our view from upstairs. And only the carpet in this house seems to be... Um, the only carpet in the house seems to be on the staircase here. You can see that there's actually tile all upstairs as well. This bedroom upstairs faces the front area. 
and it's about a 10 by 10. This is a twin bed, but I think you could probably get a double bed in it very easily for company. This is the upstairs guest bathroom. So this is a two and a half bath. And it is a um, set in tub shower combo. One thing I noticed upstairs though is that they have replaced this angle stop and braided line at some point. And it's not nearly as old as the other two. And this is the last bedroom upstairs. This one faces the back area. Take a peek from the windows to see what kind of view it's got. And you can see it's got a pretty good sized bed. It looks like maybe a queen. A little bit bigger than a full. But I'm not sure. A little bit of view from this east window, but it is um, it does have a sunshade on it, so it's a little bit hard to see through there. But you do have a little bit of a golf course view, which is nice. Okay, and again, this one is the 10697 South Calle Raquel, and it is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home, and it's 1,206 square feet. I would say it definitely feels bigger than 1,206 square feet because this bottom area feels larger than 600, but I guess this bottom area would probably be maybe 800 and then the top would be about 4. But you can see they need to clean on top of their plant shelves over there. It's a little bit dusty. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys about it later. I almost forgot to do the kind of the show you how the bedrooms are laid out upstairs. How there's this cute little arch here. You've got the bathroom in the middle, the one bedroom on the right side, and that one faces west. You do have a lot of linen cabinets in this house. There's quite a few little storage areas and nooks. And then this one is the bedroom that faces east. I would definitely plan on replacing these the carpet on these stairs because I don't know it's kind of a like a taupe color but it definitely needs to be cleaned at the very least and possibly replaced at some point. This garage door here leads out into the um, garage of course and I believe the laundry as well. Yes it does have the uh, washer and dryer outside in the garage which has its pros and cons I think you know that's nice because it's just inside the garage and it is an attached garage and it does keep your heat outside for the hot summer months. The con is of course in the winter time you've, or any time for that matter you've got to carry your laundry in but I see that they've added a table of sorts and maybe do their folding out here. Decent sized garage, it's got storage on both, sp on both sides too and it looks like you could park a pretty good sized vehicle in here. It does have a nice little private screen patio. And there's the golf course right over there. All right, if you guys have any questions, let me know. 928-580-9237. Hope to talk from you soon. Talk with you soon. Take care.